Do you ever just wake up and not want to do the work? Those days happen to everyone, pros included, is how you show up when you don't feel like. My name is Evan Mendoza and I have seven years of professional baseball experience under my belt. I've had days where I'd rather stay in bed than do the work. But the thing is, it's those days that build you into a better baseball player. Now, if you found this video helpful and you like content like this, make sure to check out the triple play down below in the description where we can help your player turn into a college prospect in 14 days. So we're gonna be really talking about two key components. We're gonna be talking about the motivation you need to have to play this game. And we also are gonna be talking about the discipline that you need to have, all right? So starting off with our motivation, it is very important to understand our why, our why statement, why we are playing baseball, all right? If our parents want us just to play the game and that's our why statement, I mean, that's okay if you are able to assess that to be accurate. But ideally, we, if we're very passionate about the game of baseball, we should very, very, you know, deep understanding of why we are playing this game, why we love this game, what gives us that purpose, all right? So that's something that I want you guys to really understand. And then also, we're gonna be really talking about um, focusing, to ensure that we have that motivation, we really wanna be short, uh, focused on some short-term um, wins, right? If we keep reminding ourselves of these short, small little wins, small little goals that we've set out for ourselves, we're gonna be in a much better position because then we're gonna constantly start seeing that improvement day after day. If we never set any type of short-term goals or we never set any long-term goals and we're just kind of there, we're just kind of existing, and I know that you know uh, there's some teammates out there or maybe players on your son's team that kind of just exist there. They don't have any reason why they're there. They are kind of just there. They don't have any goals in the game. They are just simply playing the game of baseball just to play baseball, right? There's no reason behind it. There's no goals. There's no motivation. There's no purpose, right? But you're different. Your son's different, obviously. We have that purpose of what we're doing, and we're very, very um, motivated. So this is uh, another area to make sure. Um, sorry. We, we want to ensure that we have a uh, positive uh, support system, all right? And the reason why we had that have that you know that support system, and this is something that the Cardinals and Padres both, I guess, really understood, is we had mental strength coaches where we really could truly just go to them with any of our problems that we were going through, whether it was family, off the field, uh, struggles, obviously uh, slumps because it's bound to happen, right? So these are all areas that we want to have that support system um, in our corner to be able to you know use as a resource ultimately. All right, so next we want to talk about the uh, discipline, all right? So the discipline, this is uh, the area where we have that consistency, right? We want to make sure that we're consistent with our efforts to ensure that we have the discipline to actually just keep moving the needle forward, right? And this is probably the most important area where I feel like a lot of high school baseball players get it wrong, all right? A lot of you guys will just, you know, do something for a week or a month and uh, call it quits, right? It's not working for me, right? When in reality, you haven't given it a chance with the consistency and the discipline that the program or whatever you're following requires, right? Baseball, it's a funny game, but like you're not going to necessarily see those results instantly. That's why you have to have that uh, belief of like, delayed gratification and maybe that's a you know a conversation for another video but you have to be able to do a lot of work without seeing typically like any results right it kind of sounds a little crazy right but we all have to have that little bit of uh, craziness to play this game all right so next we want to be very process oriented right we want to focus on the process we can't be focusing way too much on the goals the dreams the uh the view at the top of the mountain right we need to be able to play this game and to have the discipline we have to understand that we're truly climbing a very very tall mountain and we have to enjoy every single step every single uh day that we're on that grind to the top right and we're not playing this game just for the view at the top guys if you're doing that, I guarantee when you get to the top, you're gonna look back and be like, man, I didn't enjoy the entire climb, right? There were so many memorable moments. There were so many people around. We need to ensure that we're really focusing on the process every single day, right? The climb, uh, one of my favorite songs by Miley Cyrus, The Climb. It's a, it's a good one, but truly it talks about, you know, the climb up to the top, not necessarily just at the top, because I guarantee when you get to the top, there's gonna be another mountain in front of you, all right? 
by doing this and by doing this uh, frequently, this is what you guys are all asking for, right? Um, you all want to build some confidence, right? Not only for you, maybe for your player, but confidence is probably one of the most talked about topics in today's game because we have so much failure in the game of baseball. It's like an unnormal amount of failure. Understanding how we need to deal with it and also understanding how we can build confidence, right? But as we know, confidence just doesn't come out of thin air, right? It comes through the hard work. And I, I like to use the equation, uh, confidence is a byproduct of that hard work that we're truly putting in. And if we're not putting in any type of hard work, we're probably not gonna see the results we're looking for. All right, so next up, I wanna talk about how both of these work together, our motivation and our discipline. And this is where I feel like a lot of high school baseball players get it wrong, all right? So you have uh, sometimes very, very consistent effort, right? You have a ton of motivation and uh, you work hard very consistently, right? but your motivation might not necessarily be there, right? So this is probably the main reason why a lot of players probably aren't seeing the results that they're truly looking for. So due to this inconsistent motivation, you're going to, at some point in time, have a very, very consistent effort. You're gonna have consistent motivation to getting better, getting bigger, faster, and stronger in the gym, developing your skills, making sure that you're reaching and connecting with college coaches. You're doing all that effort and it's very consistent effort, right? But because we have that consistent effort and we're not necessarily always guaranteed to have any results in this game, right? Well, guess what happens? Then we fall into the trap and we fall into this revolving door of having inconsistent motivation, right? So there's usually one area, whether it's our discipline or our motivation, right? That really, um, uh, sorry, this was supposed to be discipline. Um, so sometimes we have that consistent discipline, right? But then every once in a while, we'll have that inconsistent motivation, right? And uh, this all works as a hamster wheel, guys. If we're putting our efforts way too focused into our discipline, into our consistent hard work, but we're not focused enough on our motivation on why we're doing something or the processes that we need to do or really even just surrounding ourselves with positive people to support us. This is where we're going to find ourselves in that in this trap of just constantly going back and forth from one another. All right. And we need to break this cycle, obviously, to be able to see ourselves grow beyond the game uh, of baseball and not only within the game, but uh, like I said, beyond the game. There's so much more to you know, life than just baseball. Um, and obviously wanting to understand you know, how the game of baseball is gonna affect your life, it's something that's super, super valuable and I wish that you guys to understand this because whatever you guys are gonna do, hopefully you guys play professional baseball for a very long time like I did, but you'll understand that the game has taught you so many valuable lessons about being disciplined, about being motivated, about being consistent, all the hard work that needs to be put in to be successful in anything. So we need to, again, break through this cycle, all right? So the reason that we are having a hard time, more times than not, um, staying motivated or maybe even staying consistent or disciplined is because we view as all the hard work that we need to do as you know this huge block, right? And this is the work that we need to put in to be the greatest, right? To become elite. And it's very, very, um, you know, it, it's scary looking. It's this huge block right here, right? And this is all the work that you need to do to become, you know, number one, right? And uh, it's, it's daunting, right? But in reality, when we're building out routines to be able to stay consistent, we're motivating ourselves each and every day, and we're showing and proving to ourselves that we're disciplined, the way that we need to do it is really just block it up, right? So instead of this huge blob over to the left, we're gonna look at it like this. We're gonna look at smaller, actionable steps, right? And this is maybe, let's say, like our routine. Our routine is technically, this is our day of work that is gonna be applied towards the game of baseball and our overall development. But in reality, this is where we can like subsection, you know, this area could be like literally 10 swings, right? So 10 swings isn't much, and I think everyone can do 10 swings or maybe like 10 push-ups right here, right? Super small action steps, guys, and that's what I'm trying to get at right here. If we're trying to build a routine like a professional baseball player, more times than not, we're going to fail because we are putting way too much on our plate too soon 
and that's very very overwhelming so understanding that like uh there might be like a practice section right here for your team or whatever that's why it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit more of a time commitment but what are we doing like at home like at dinner you know this is dinner right here what are we doing in this time yes we're studying right but what else, you know, do we have the time or are we truly going to sacrifice maybe, you know, 15 minutes of sleep? Um, I, I love when people tell me that they don't have time, right? When in reality, you can 1000% sacrifice 15 minutes of sleep. And if you don't agree with me, more than likely, you're probably not going to make it super far in this game because this is a concept that if you don't understand the sacrifices that it takes to play at the next level, more than likely, you're simply just not going to get there. All right. So. The last topic that I really want to go over real quick is uh, the idea of comfort and pain, right? So today's comfort, comfort looks like, uh, you know, being lazy, right? On the couch, um, you know, uh, video games, because this is fun. This is uh, easy. It's relaxing, you know, scrolling, Netflix. These are all today's comforts, right? Not um, working out. Actually, I'll, I'll wait to, to do all that, right? But uh, what, what on the other side of things, what are today's pains, right? And maybe pain's not the right word. Maybe uh, stresses, because technically we can stress our body during a workout. It's not necessarily the mental stresses, but you get my idea. But today's pains could be like working out, right? Doing the stuff that we don't really want to do, right? Running. Um, not everyone loves running. I'm starting to like it a little bit more, but, um, you know, uh, sit-ups or whatever. Um, today's pains could be, um, going to the gym, you know, practice. Um, really you could do like a 15 minute workout. You know, these are all things that are technical pains for today, right? Because not everyone wants to do them. And mentally we can talk ourselves out of these, uh, tasks a lot of the times. So on the flip side of things, we're going to talk about um, what we can call tomorrow's or we can do uh, future. I think future is better. Future's comfort and uh, future's pains. All right. So this is a good way to just kind of like understand um, where we're at today and what we're doing today. That's really going to eventually pay us forward in the future, right? So in the future, what does a comfort look like? Well, comfort looks like getting your, uh, you know, cleats cleaned every day by a clubby, right? Because that's what they do in professional baseball. Uh, what's a future comfort? Um, eating, uh, eating uh, New York strips every post game. Pretty awesome if I must say, right? Having a, a choice, not only between steak, but also fish and chicken, every single meal for lunch at spring training. These are uh, future comforts if we're putting in the work, right? What are some other future comforts? Obviously like scholarships, um, you know, good facilities. Um, those are all, you know, future comforts. Obviously we, we want the future comforts. But what are future pains, right? This is where it kind of gets a little tricky. Um, future pains, you know, not playing a game after graduation, right? That would stink, right? And I, I feel for a lot of people because a lot of people, unfortunately, are in that 93%, uh, by the way, that don't get to play college baseball. And I never experienced that, but I know that the second that you are away from this game, the second you realize you want to keep playing this game very, very badly. Um, so imagine just like graduating and not having any type of scholarships, right? So a future pain is, you know, um, maybe like uh, a future pain could be, you know, paying for school, for college, you know? That would be a, technically a pain, right? A future pain could be, you know, I, I, I've seen this example kind of in like the health and wellness space as far as just like, you know, uh, people that don't want to get fat, right? Um, and uh, I, I just thought it as an example, but like a future comfort is having a chiseled six pack when you're like 40 years old, right? That would be a pretty awesome comfort, right? 
but today's pain would be to do sit-ups, right? But a future pain would be, you know, like 100 pounds overweight, right? But if we're really talking about it, like that's just like a health and wellness example. Um, and it's not necessarily talking completely about baseball, but like a future pain could be like behind the curve. And behind the curve, meaning like you weren't, exposed to baseball specific exercises in the gym you show up on campus let's say you did earn that you know scholarship which is awesome that would be great but you still feel behind the curve because you weren't exposed to the next level of thinking about this game and i always thought that i had the game figured out and it's you know pretty normal especially once you land that scholarship and you're a high school senior and you're walking around high school just like i'm the man well, in reality, you're going to walk on campus and quickly realize there are guys four years older, sometimes five years older than you, that have the game figured out a lot more than you do. So you slowly, you know, you turn into this big guy in high school, then all of a sudden you're a, a small guy in college. And then, you know, you get some draft buzz your junior year, just like I did, and I feel like I'm the guy, I got the game figured out, and then I got drafted and played in pro ball. And then I was rubbing shoulders with guys like Yachty and Pujols, and it's like, Whoa, and then I started climbing up a little bit. But either way, I hope you understand that like you never truly have the game figured out. So like, what are some future pains that you can truly see yourself, you know, going through if you don't go through today's pains, right? So what is that worth? So what are today's comforts that are truly worth your future? Um, sorry, your future pains, right? So if you're lazy today, well, guess what? You're gonna be behind the curve. If you're watching video or playing video games, if you're scrolling, if you're doing Netflix, guess what? You are going to not play baseball after college because it takes an unnormal amount of hard work to be able to play college baseball, especially if you want to go D1. I think it's 2% of all high schoolers get to play in D1. So um, you might have to come out of pocket and, play, and pay for your college, which might not necessarily be the most fun, right? But today's pains, right, of working out, of running, doing sit-ups, going to the gym, going to practice every single day, maybe just starting your routine with a simple 15-minute workout that you do every single day. You have the discipline and motivation to do that. Well, guess what? All that's going to turn into. That's going to turn into future comforts like having clubbies clean your cleats. They're going to do your laundry. You're also going to be fed pre- and post-game meals. You're going to be you know, treated like royalty. And this is what happens when you play professional baseball. And sometimes at these Power 4, Power 5 schools in college, I just saw a facility tour of University of Texas, which was just insane. But yeah, these things are you know, normal. Because guess what? Those players have earned the right, not necessarily the right, but they've earned the opportunity to have their cleats cleaned, to have great facilities, to earn a baseball scholarship to go play D1 baseball, right? Because of the sacrifices and the pains that they were willing to go through today to ensure that they had a comfortable um, future, all right? So this is kind of the, the quote of all about like doing today what others won't so tomorrow you can do what others can't. If you would like more tips or personalized coaching, make sure to check out the Triple Play where we help high school baseball players turn into college prospects.